Mike here, Baseball Collector. It is Tuesday and after a holiday, so I got some mail. I'm finally kind of getting back into the swing of getting cards and just filling in gaps of all the different crazy projects that I'm working on. And so I'm going to show you the eight slabs that I actually I got nine slabs to show off today in my mail today. So here we go. The first one is a 1990 Upper Deck Nolan Ryan. I'm doing the Nolan Ryan kind of set registry and run and so this was a card that I needed for that I got several others that are coming that I'm excited about so none of them are high dollar cards I think this one cost me three bucks plus three dollars shipping so it wasn't expensive and uh but fill the hole so there you go next up starting on some vintage uh I got Walter Alston who Hall of Fame manager for the Dodgers this is a near mint seven on this 64 all of these were from Coming up here, the, the next few are from PWCC that I got in an auction that they had. I tend to overpay on PWCC, but you know, you get the card, so what are you gonna do? Uh, there's the 63 Alston in the six. And finally, the 1962 Walt Alston, also in a six. So with the manager cards, I'm just trying to get them and uh, fill the hole for my three decades set. They're Hall of Famers, so they have tops cards, so they get picked up. Here's the 62 Nelly Fox. And I bid on probably, on this whole auction, probably 50 cards, and I only won eight. So that goes to tell you, I think their prices, just they just tend to get more popular. Um, and Vintage is just going up, 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 from my perspective. There's a off-center six for the Nelly Fox 62. Of course, with Nelly and his uh, familiar chaw in his left cheek there. Oh, and guess what? Another Nelly Fox. This is a 61 tops high number all-star card. But of course, Nelly Fox has that chaw in his left cheek right there. But I love these cards. Very cool all-star cards. I got next up a regular 61. And maybe we can see it together, but this is number 490. This card is sharp, and it says it's got a PD, which is print defect, but I'm telling you, I don't see really anything that would be considered a print defect. There's a little yellow dot right there, like just a pixel or two on that. Um, the snow is on the slab, not on the card. There's nothing on the back. I looked this card over, because I just thought it was like, oh my gosh, what's wrong with that card? And the answer was nothing. But when you see a, you know, a qualifier like this, it really drops the price down. Uh, I think I paid eleven dollars for this or something. Really was not expensive with that qualifier, and to me, it's beautiful. So I'm perfectly happy with that. Two more to go. First one is this nice Hank Aaron. In 61, they did an MVP subset where they pictured all the MVPs from both leagues. And this is actually the first card of that entire run that I've gotten. Uh, there's Ernie Banks and Willie Mays and Clemente and Manol and all sorts of great players that are represented in this set, in this little subset within 61 tops. But I just thought that was a beautiful Hank Aaron. So hold on one second. The other card's a bigger card, so I gotta get a better angle on it. So hang on one second, and I'll show you the last card that I got. I'll give you a hint, Mickey Mantle. All right, so here's the last card I got in the mail today, and this card is just gorgeous. It's a 1964 Topps Giants Mickey Mantle in a near mint seven. Now this card, ironically, does have a print defect up in the corner, uh, but nice centering on this one. The Mantle, I, it was it uh, Dave, Blue Jacket 66, did a great video recently about the Topps Giants set and how common they are. And to me, they're just collectible. They're just beautiful baseball cards, great photography. Um, I think they're not as popular only because they're just bigger cards and harder to store. But when you can get any Mickey Mantle in a near mint seven for, I think I paid 60 bucks for this card total, including shipping, Man, that's a pretty good deal. And this fits it for my Mickey Mantle uh, Super Registry or whatever I'm doing, complete registry. So just loved this card. I couldn't pass it up. And uh, there you go. So that's my mail today. 
Let me know what you liked, what you thought, and we'll catch you guys soon. Keep collecting.